What is going on everyone? Back with another video. Today, me and Zach are about to hit chest. We're not too sure what kind of chest workout we want to hit. He was talking about benching a little bit, so we're going to bench. I don't know how heavy we're going to be going today. I haven't really talked with him much, so I don't really know what he wants to do. I'm kind of just, you know, going off what I'm thinking. So, we'll probably bench a little bit heavy. I know he's definitely going to want to bench heavy because that mug is strong. He's probably going to do 405 for some reps while I'm over here doing like 315 for like three. No scoop. What are you scooping? Nothing like opening a brand new tub a pre-workout. Finally, Gorilla restocked the Fruit Punch Nitric. I got two tubs of it, just opened up the one. And since it's a little bit later, I'm going to go like one and a half scoops of Fruit Punch Nitric and gonna go with one scoop of, you guessed, Fruit Punch Mode. Obviously, since it's been probably like a month since I've had, you know, fruit punch nitric, I am going to do a scoop of, you know, both of them to get the best fruit punch pre-workout ever. So if you guys want, if you hurry up, click the little grill link, use code Chef for Joseph. You yourself too can get some pre-workout. All right. Really excited that it was restocked. Also, Gorilla has a new product up, Gorilla Mushroom, um, which is just like a mushroom supplement, no psychedelic things, obviously, since it's a legal product. Um, I took it one day, Suppose it's supposed to help with mental clarity, focus, um, cognitive, it's like a cognitive support. So overall, like it's supposed to help you get through things, more focused, more concentrated. Also, like it's supposed to help with creativity as well. I'm gonna start taking that before I edit to kind of, you know, see how the videos turn out. Just warmed up with a bar and my arm. My triceps are still a little sore from the 1,000 rep arm challenge I did two days ago. So I'm curious to see as what I'm going to be benching today. Zach wants to hit a heavy single. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully Zach hits something, you know, maybe 400 or higher for y'all to see some crazy stuff because I ain't going to be doing that, but I'll try my best. Yeah, if I hit a heavy single, it's gonna incorporate some motivation into Joe's attitude and he will bench heavy, right Joe? Yeah, I'll bench my best. Yeah, but we did, we absolutely blasted arms like the other day, like you guys can see on Joe's channel, if you guys watched the video before this, my triceps are sauce as fuck from it, but if you guys wanna get that 1,000 arm day, at, or 1,000 rep arm day a try, go ahead and give it a try, it's fucking crazy. That was, uh, that was not as nice as I wanted it to be. Triceps are super sore. I can feel it every rep. It's like. <laughs> every rep with 135? Yeah, like it's, they're, they're, they're feeling like kind of exhausted. It feels like I literally did a tricep workout oh and then God. I'm like about to bench. So we'll see how it goes as I, you know, increase the weight, but who knows? Maybe I'll still be able to push some nice weight.
don't get so don't get horny now. Google Jack, bro, not bad. Oh, pretty big. Got the black house stringer on. Shout out to James. Oh wait, shit, bro, I got one too. We gotta hurry up though, cause we got gym closes in like 40 minutes, so yeah, let's go. I'm dead. Last set, pretty all right. Shoulder, eh, it's hanging in there. But we about to do a lot of chest work here right now. Blow, 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 blow the chest. here in a second kind of upset that couldn't get a little bit more in benching took a little bit of time took like almost an hour for real so rip but I mean overall pretty decent workout um, I'm going to ice my shoulder when I get home and just kind of keep working on it tomorrow I got a back day so I'm gonna probably do some rotate rotator stuff as well as a little bit of light shoulders get some blood flow in there to hopefully heal up whatever it is um, that is kind of bugging me or kind of work it out of there. Um, so that is the plan. As you guys know, I have been on a bulk. So I plan a bulk throughout the winter until it gets a little bit warmer. And then Zach is actually going to take me through prep. Um, and he's going to pick out shows because he's competed quite some times in Michigan. So he kind of knows what meets are good and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that, even though it's months away. Um, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know because I'm super excited and kind of just curious to see, you know, Zach saying he's going to get me, you know, sub 5% or even 5%. So really crazy. And I'm really curious to see what my legs look at 5% because the leanest I've been was probably 9 to 10, maybe 8. And my legs looked really cool. So dropping 3 more percent, maybe 4 is really going to just absolutely make them boys look crazy and I'm super excited for it and you guys when you see them 
probably gonna dump your pants. I think that we're gonna start his prep on around New Year's because you know with a bodybuilding prep, you usually need about three to four months to prep, especially if you're, you know, you just went through a heavy bulk and everything. Uh, it takes a lot of time to properly like burn the fat off and you don't ever want to rush into a prep and drop the calories lower right off the bat or else you'll lose a lot of size. So we're gonna transition into his prep and give him a lot of time to cut down slowly. And yeah, I'm gonna bring him in pretty freaking tight this year, hopefully under 5% body fat. And I've never seen Joe's quads like completely dialed in, but they're gonna be something scary this year, especially when he carbs up and his veins are popping out and he's got all the separations because Joe's just got those fucking gorilla quads. So it's gonna be exciting to see him shredded on stage going against, going against all the big guys. And for all you guys that don't believe this, you know, I'm gonna say it, but Joe is 100% natural. So it's gonna be amazing to see him take that W against all these guys on gear and everything. So major props to him for doing the bodybuilding prep and planning on doing the show. I am going to wrap the video up here. If you guys enjoyed it, please like this video, comment something down below, whatever your heart desires make sure to subscribe if you're not click the little bell two videos coming every single week for you guys thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace